All right, welcome back. We are now in part three of Hyper Metroid. So, first I fixed the chat box so it actually shows all the new messages instead of cutting off at the bottom. And now we are in Norfair, exploring around, trying to find stuff. Hey, look, missile door. Let's see what's back here. Oh, one nifty thing I'd never mentioned is that the Varia suit makes you immune to lava. Um, you still move slow as molasses through it because you don't have gravity, but. You can take trapezing through lava without having to worry about it, which is actually required for some of the exploration here in Norfair. And down here is actually where we want to go, um, provided I can stop hitting things. Ow. Because it's Ice Beam! Ice Beam adds 15 damage to the beam's attack, and lets us freeze enemies. It uses platforms, but if you've played Super Metroid, you already knew that. If you played Metroid, you already knew that. Hmm. Suspicious bubbles are suspicious. Oh, and while Ice Beam, or while Varia Suit does protect against lava, it does not protect against acid, so be careful about that. But, here we have Turian Gate number seven. So, two f or forty percent of the gates have been turned on. And I am almost dead. Now you can wall jump up this, but rippers are not likely to be cooperative. Like that. There we go. And through here, we're back in Criteria. We're actually just above the, uh, we are just above the Taurian entrance. Though we can't actually go back to Criteria because we don't have super missiles yet. Trying to avoid the acid because owl pain. And I'm really bad at jumping. I'm really bad at dodging. Let's just say I'm really bad. All right. Ah! No dying. Dying is bad. Thankfully, the ice beam gives us enough damage to finally punch through Deskigas. And we'll just take the lava bath back. Oh wait, we can't take the lava bath back. Because can't make those kinds of wall jumps. There we go. Really need a new tank right now. And this is not going to give me one. Well, it will give me one, but not until later. Actually, I should probably save. more lava. Oh, 
Missile pack. Sure. Okay, so, moving swiftly along. I will accept a missile pack. And immediately lose all of my energy in the process. And actually, there's something down here as well. Uh, actually, I should not be back here. I'm probably about to die. I'm dead. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, um... In the future, I will go down that secret area when I have more than uh, no health. Um, welcome to How I Play the Game 101. How long have you been watching MST? So instead, we're going to take a lava dive. Uh, then you would be sorely disappointed. Energy tank. Should have come through here earlier. Can't go through that door yet because we still don't have supers. Uh, let's see. What other options? Oh, we can go through here and get access to a save room. And missile, but we can't get that super yet because, yeah, it's just a tease. We have to go around to get that super. So let's go ahead and do that. Though we can't actually pick it up just yet. Um, we need. Well, actually, I think persistent uh, wall or persistent bomb jumping can get up there. Oh, I need supers. I have to go up and around.
is up here. Super door. Can't go that way. And we'll take the upper path in this room. Yeah, lower path just leads to right here. Which pretty much is the same thing. Well, actually, let's see what's through this door. I think it's an item. Oh no, th this is where we're supposed to be going, actually. But not that way. What, doing this the intended way? Hey, look, it's a Crocomire. It's a dead Crocomire. Yeah. Acid. Pain. Oh look, it's an undead Crocomire. Conveniently placed save point is convenient. And crumble blocks are douchey. Yes, it has not redesigned acid, thankfully. The oops, five seconds, you're dead. Alright, so the intended first supers are up this way. No, oh, actually, first, before we go get the intended supers, we have a certain other item to pick up and get crushed by boulders. Thankfully, these little rocks here are good for refilling. to the acid, of course. Acid. Actually, can I get 
up from here. Oh, I might be able to go this way. Okay, yeah. We're good. Oh, wait, I can't... Uh... Alright, this is a sequence break. Because you're actually supposed to have space jump at this point. Alright. So, we're coming back for this later. And I don't think I can go up this way... I could if I bomb jumped, but bomb jumping. Not good at it. Alright, so instead we are going up this way. Yes, and this is where the intended supers are. Ah. Stupid platform enemies. <laughs> there. Over this way. This is the intended super missile expansion. And there is actually something back here. But it's just a gray door. That door unlocks, I believe, after beating Ridley, or maybe Gold Torizo. And then, to get out, Super Missile Block. And this, you can get across if you spam bombs, and you can get a missile over there. But that's a yellow door that we'll have to come back with power bombs for to break open. Fortunately, gametes are right here to refill on. When you enter this room, depending on which door you enter in, if you're entering from the top door, the acid lowers. If you're entering from the bottom door, the acid rises. So you're in kind of a... You're kind of in a race, kind of not. And the item dot right here is a super missile, protected by a super missile block. Worth it. Because there's refill. Yay! I'm not going to bother wasting the two seconds on the ammo recharge. Speaking of, depending on which room you, which way you enter the room. So, now our next goal is to get back to Brinstar, which we can get to straight from Norfair. Now what are you good griefing about? Yeah. 
down below is one of the five reserve tanks in the hack, but um, can't actually access it just yet because we don't have nearly enough energy to survive getting down there and back. Oh, well, it's not that bad. I mean, actually, it makes it kind of special looking. Let's see, I think there's something over here as well. No. Just that super door. this can actually be gotten without space jump. In theory. If I was any good at wall jumping, probably be able to find out. Ah, whatever. Something to come back for. I think it's a super missile up there, too. Suspicious Morph Tunnel is suspicious. Suspicious save is suspiciouser. Ooh, hey, a red door. Hmm. Oh, that. Yeah, you're not actually supposed to fight GT at this point. So, yeah, I did intentionally tank that fight. <laughs> He's there to say, hi, look, I'm here, die. <laughs> And now we are going. We are not going back in that direction until we are significantly better equipped. Um, though, if you noticed, Gold Teresa does not actually dodge normal missiles like he does in uh, regular Super Metroid. Actually, I believe he has an increased vulnerability to normal missiles. All right. So anyway, we need to go to Brinstar, which is this way. And this actually plops us in a rather convenient location, relatively speaking. Oh, actually, there's a door over here, so let's see where this leads. Save point is convenient. Alright, so our goal now is to kill Kraid, who is all the way up in the upper right. Um, fortunately, the 
uh, Norfair entrance drops us off relatively close to where we want to be to get over to him. I want that super missile. Also help if I selected the correct super or the correct missiles when I was firing. So to get up to Kraid, we need to climb. And watch out for key hunters. Because those buggers hurt. Can't go this way. I need a uh, power bomb. Power bombs don't come until much later. All right. So let's see here. So we have to go down and around. Giant side hoppers. Why? Why? Actually, it's kind of sad. The side hoppers are stronger than this. Gigas. Yeah, there's a barrier between me and you. We're going to keep it that way, and you're just going to die to my charge shots. Even if it is going to take forever. Oh, power bomb. Unfortunately, it is surrounded by power bomb blocks. No early power bombs. Here is the next destination. Over here, more power bomb blocks with an energy tank. Now, it is possible to enter that room from the other side. Uh, basically, there is an entrance, I don't remember exactly where, um, that you have to shine spark through, if I remember correctly. Okay. Am I supposed to come back after? I guess I'm supposed to get gravity now. Well, I mean, I have all the tools that I need to get gravity. Now, there has to be a way to get to Kraid now. I'm just missing something. Uh, I 
Yes. Oh, I keep forgetting the old hold down to not uh, bomb jump that Project Base has. Ow. Spikes. Oh, right. Giant side hoppers. Pain. Long room. This is where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, the power bomb blocks lead to the room directly above this one, which is where the Brinstar reserve tank is hidden. Probably. Well, I mean, it's just crate. It's only... This is actually not the intended way to do this, but this is how I figured it out. Come on. Also, we'll want to come back here once we get speed booster later on. Not today, side hopper. Now, one interesting thing that I noticed about um, Hyper Metroid there are no Ghidoras uh, in front of boss rooms, it's just always a red missile door. So like, for example, here, there's a mini crate and a red door, and oh look, now we're fighting crate. We don't even have to fight the mini crate. Oh wow, I botched that up.
Unfortunately, Kraid's little talon things only drop ammo when you are at full health. And only one of them actually drops anything. The other one just does nothing. Almost got him dead. Ah! And then I go and do that. And Kraid's dead. Yay! That was a little more harrowing than I really wanted it to be. And he health bombs me. Thanks. And a reward is space jump. Woohoo! And to leave, we just head down here through the maze of spikes. And oh look, it's that save room that we passed after beating uh, Spore Spawn. All right, I'm going to take a quick break here. I'll be back in a few minutes, and we will continue our journey through the world of Hyper Metroid. See you guys in a little bit.